still behind us? No, I think we lost them. Stop here, there's something wrong with my saddle. Get this girth fixed. It's hanging by a thread. We'll be the ones hanging if you don't keep moving. People don't like it when you're up the banks. And we'd have been fine if you hadn't made a stop to give half our money away. Let's not start this again. You never take into account expenses, Roman. You take half away before expenses. We're thieves, Roman. God's not going to give you a break just because you gave some farmer some money. How do you know? Go on, I need a blacksmith. The next town is Santa Helena. We'll stop there. What is that? I don't know. Could be about bones creaking. For us? Wrong direction. Who's that? Stop and ask, but I think she's a bit busy. Nice saddle. Come on, before the soldiers come back. The sword, the mask, those eyes, the possibilities are endless. Hannah! Come on! Second time this month the Queen has taken the tax money we owe Monterey. Does everyone realize that I should be expected to make up the loss out of my own pocket? No. Yes, yes, sir. And Captain Grisham, of course, has picked the perfect moment to disappear on patrol. Very well. One thousand reales. For that kind of money, I'm sure any of my men would turn in their own mother. Turn your mother in for a thousand reales? What, a woman who held me, fed me, clothed me? Still see her sweet, loving smile. Nah, she'd be worth at least twelve hundred. That's what I thought. It's probably the accent. I had a crack. Oh, that was the cracking of my heart, querida. Pay attention to the wagon plan. Why is it? I only see you when something is wrong with your wagon, Marta. Because you are the blacksmith. Is it the axle? Forget the axle. <laughs> Marta! Marta! I uh, want it. Uh... You, you saved my life. No, I didn't. He did. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Roman Petrov, at your service. If there's anything I can do... Have dinner with me. 
dinner? Tonight. Well, I'm not sure. I'd have to check with my mistress. I have many chores to do. At Would you make me back? I'll meet you at the cantina. No. Allow me to escort you myself. All right. At the Alvarado Hacienda at six. Your name? Marta. Hi there. Remember me? The man who almost died? Without him, you could have. You know, he's not right for you. Too much bigger. <coughs> Your problems are over, Colonel. I am glad to hear that. For a small retainer of, say, 100 reales, I'll ensure that your money gets to Monterey and the bandit queen is brought to you on her hands and knees. On her hands and knees? That would be both entertaining and... and impressive. So we have a deal? Get out of my office before I hang you for defacing public property. Oh, please, please. <laughs> Just give me a moment to explain. I have a garrison full of men who cannot catch her. Why should I employ you? I can see why you might be upset. Who wouldn't be? You're a military man, a magistrate. You expect this bandit queen to play by the same rules that you do. But she's a thief. The door is there, senor. Now, I understand thieves. Why, you might ask? Well, I've had some limited experience myself in this that area. This conversation is now at an end. My lodge friend outside is stronger than five men. I myself, very handy with a sword. Guards! Are you a better man, Colonel? My man against any six of yours, one for Israel. for him. You. Show me something. Is over, you can't negotiate. You are hired. <laughs> Idiots. I will send the taxes this afternoon. You make sure they reach Monterey and kill the Queen, and the reward money shall be yours. Kill the Queen? Second thought, senor. No. No. I was just wondering about our bet. You. Pay the man his six reales. Marta? Mm. You're not listening to me. Of course I am. Then what did I just say? Montoya's money travels this afternoon. Where? I forget. Oh. It's being driven along the Callisto Road to Monterey. Details. Details. <laughs> Monterey? Do you know what that means? I think this is the big shipment. So it looks like another late night for the queen? Could be. Any idea what time you think you'll be back? Gee, I don't know. Depends how many guys want to try and kill me this time. Why? Just wondering. Should I have dinner ready, waiting for you? Why? Where are you going to be? I might be out. Out? Out where? Have a date. Ah, I see. 
It's Vlad? Blacksmith? No. It's not Vlad? It's nobody you know. A stranger? Hmm, this could be exciting. Come on, tell me more. I'll tell you when I get back. Queen's as smart as I think she is. Rome! Roman, are you listening? I'm trying to plan an operation. I heard it the first time. The Calist road is right near town. Then it narrows when it hits a canyon. Correct. And the right place for the Queen to hit would be here. There's good cover. Right here? Man, are you listening? She's going to hit right here. But she's not going to do that. Do you want to know why? Why? Because she knows that someone's going to be after her. She'll figure that we'll figure that's a smart place to be. Therefore, she's going to hit it at the less smart place. What is a less smart place? No, it's actually the smarter place. If you say so. It's at the top of the cliff here. It's wide open. No one will expect it. You sure that's what she'll do? She'll know that we'll know that. She'll figure we'll be where she thinks she should be. But we won't be where she expects us to be. Right. I'll bet you a bottle of Rioja with Naila. And for dessert, found these two delicious half-sisters. You can have the one that does these tricks with hot chilies. It's amazing. Not you? tonight. What do you mean? Sorry, Finna. I made some plans. Without me? Fair enough. You're a free man. You still owe me that bottle of Rioja if we nail her. should be in about 12 minutes. I figure closer to 10. You should check the wheels. They needed grease. Didn't have the chance. Yeah. Nice girl. <laughs> Not exactly inconspicuous, are we? Why don't you be good? Come with me. Sorry. I've made other plans. Change them. Would be rude. If you won't come with us, you'll have to fight. Him or me. Why are the both of you? What take advantage of a lady? I could never do that. Have you ever taken advantage of a lady, Roman? Mm, there was that old lady in Verona. She wasn't that old, Roman. She certainly wasn't a lady. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'll take you. It's not nice. Uh, it'll get worse. Why don't you just be a good girl? Put down the sword. Size doesn't matter? Well, it always matters, but there are ways to compensate. Ah! 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 Would you learn how to do that? Finishing school? Are we finished? Not quite. Roman! You sure? You don't want to give up? Draw and go home. Sorry. You're right. It's 
it's not fair for me to have two. Right. Yes! <laughs> Is that it? My life. Oh, soft on me now. A thousand realists. We don't have a choice. We've got to kill her. Right. Nobody said anything to me about killing. The deal we made was to bring her in. Well, you've seen her. Do you think she's going to come in alive? I can't do this. She saved my life. Yeah, very nice of her, but we've still got a job to do. No. Oh, just because she wrapped a whip round us, you're acting like she's the Madonna. Come on, Roman. No. And if you go after her, I'm going to stop you. You're bluffing. Am I? Thanks for letting me know where your loyalties lie. No problem. I'll bring her in myself. If you do this, we're through. Adios, amigo. I turned around and he was just standing there. Of course, there were two of them. They insisted on fighting me one at a time. Like gentlemen. They weren't gentlemen, though. One was small and shifty. And you should have seen the other one. Isn't that my skirt? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have a chance to ask you. This must be for that handsome stranger. Oh, Dios. Look at my hair. So tell me, what's he like? He's like no one I've ever known before. Marta, I've never heard you talk like this. You're right. I'm crazy. No, I didn't say that. Oh, look at me. What am I doing? I wonder if it's too late to cancel. There's your answer. I'm not ready yet. Uh, could you get that? Me, I'm half queen. So, put on our robe. You're serious? I don't want him to see me like this. Please. Yes, senorita, right away. Coming! <sighs> Hello. I'm here to see Marta. One moment, please. <sighs> oh, God. Would you like to know who's waiting for you in the kitchen? Roman. Yes, the man who tried to kill me. What? Mm -hmm. On the cliff? That's impossible. I was there, I should know. It can be. He's not exactly easy to confuse with anyone else, Marta. But I've seen into his heart. He's a good man, Tessa. He's dangerous to both of us. It's a mistake. 
It will be if you see him. Don't go. There must be an explanation. I found out what this is all about. You made a deal. No, I'm breaking it. You just can't continue in good conscience. Ah, was it your conscience that was troubling you? How old-fashioned. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either. It's not easy walking away from that sort of money. And what was it exactly that pricked this, uh, this conscience of yours? Her delicate neck? <laughs> Her eyes like limpid pools? Not really. It's complicated. But you should be happy, Colonel. At least your gold got through this time. Surely you are not so naive as to think that I would risk my gold. Those strong boxes were full of rocks. Rocks. I was not sure I could trust you to stop the Queen. Well, I'm glad to know that we risked our lives for a bunch of rocks. Adios, Colonel. See at the roll call. I'm afraid I cannot let you leave, Senor Fenner. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Come with us, Fenner. Well, I like that. Whoa! Whoa! Gotta be somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me. I know who you are, Fennan. You and your big friend are just con men, petty thieves. Well, that's unfair. There's nothing petty about us. You're wanted by three presidios on this coast alone. Well, it's nice to be wanted. I'm glad you feel that way. Because I want you to bring me the queen. And if you do not, I will hang you. You mean you'll try? I must confess to being a trifle puzzled about this sudden burst of loyalty towards the bandit queen. This is what you call in your profession Honor amongst thieves. Well, I guess you could say that. It looks like the odds are a little stacked against you, don't you think? Then you're a bounty hunter. Among other things, does it trouble you? The trouble is that you're not telling me the whole truth. Please. A mystic gypsy. Forget it, Marta. I've worked too many carnivals over the years. You have three brothers and two sisters. Marta. And your father. He's cold. In the dark. Stop it. I said I know all the tricks. He's starving. In this house prison. He died there. And your mother. I'm so sorry, Roman. How do you know this? I've never told anyone. And you ran and ran. And you're still running. What do you want? I want you to know that the Queen is in Tivo. She isn't what Montoya says she is. It doesn't matter anymore. She saved my life. I mean no harm. I promise. Good. Do I spy the spark of new love? Dios mío. The heat could keep us all warm tonight. Pardon us, Coronel. We are in the middle of dinner. I am sorry to interrupt, but I thought you should know. Senor Fenner's in jail. 
Why? Because, Senor Petrov, I do not take kindly to people who break their promises to me. You can't keep a man in jail for breaking his promise. And yet that is precisely what I am doing. You keep your bargain and kill the queen. And I shall not be obliged to hang your friend. Oh, by the way, senorita, I suggest you try the oysters today. They are particularly succulent. Hasta luego. Where are you going? I can't let my friend die. Sorry. Roman. Roman, wait! Tell me I can trust him. I did. That's true. Now you tell me he's gonna kill me? That's true also. All right, Bartha, help me out here. Which is it? Roman's in an awkward position. Tell him to join the club. Is it at his friend's head or the queen's? And do you have a preference? Oh, this. I don't want to see anybody hurt. So what are you asking me to do, Marta? Save his friend. So Roman won't be forced to come after me. That's right. How do I know these two aren't ruthless killers? A little shifty, maybe, but they're not killers. Huh. They tried to kill me once before. Why won't they try again? Because the queen will help them. That hasn't been decided yet. Tessa, please. Roman is a good man. If you can't trust him, trust me. Marta, you know. Otherwise, Montoya will get his way. And then you will be right. You will have turned them both into killers. That might not happen. What do you mean this is a hard choice? There are ethical issues. Ethical issues? With these, Roman? Oh. You're not helping the situation. This is no situation. To me, it's very clear that you have to kill the Queen. There's got to be another choice. Well, the only other choice is, is that Montoya puts two ropes up on the gallows. One for me and one for you. What are the odds? Breaking you out. The 30 guards, the garrison outside. Montoya knows exactly where you are. Add to that. You're not exactly built for stealth. So, what do you figure? 200 to 1. We both end up dead. She saved my life. How can I turn around and kill her? My soul would never recover from that. What does your soul matter? You'd be dead! Oh, you've always been like a brother to me. Remember that time in Tobago when I took the bullet for you? I wasn't there in Tobago. Well, what about the time in Malta when I, I arranged for those beautiful twins to meet us? They were Siamese. Details, details. I know you'll do the right thing, Roman. Right? Roman? Roman! Morning. Let's go. We're we going somewhere? Yeah. Looks a little bit off. No way. Okay. You know what they say about a man's sword? No. What do they say? The bigger the sword, the smaller the... Not true in this case. Thank you for dropping by. You just made my job a lot easier. Don't count on it. I've come to discuss a partnership. I already have a partner. Not for long. What does that mean? Montoya's moved your friend from the jail. If you want to see him again, I don't think we have much time. What are you proposing? We steal Montoya's gold from his office. Use it to buy your friend back. Should sure I trust you? Because I saved your life. Move it! Do you 
think I can have water? Keep going. Uh, uh, my hands are tied. What can I do? Bite you? Go inside. Out of my way. Oh. I caught her. I'll bring her in. Get away. Come on. Genuine pleasure to see you both. Where's my money? All in good time, my gargantuan friend. That is a great sum, even for me. Where's Fenner? Ah, yes. Maybe we can discuss him after I have safely tucked her away in my jail. Do you plan on tucking me in your cell? You would not dare. I don't know. I've dreamt about it so many times, I might just have to. If you kill me, his friend dies. We thought you might need an incentive to part with Fenner. Just tell me one thing. How did you convince him not to kill you? Can I trust you to keep it quiet? Of course. Guards! Bad idea. Where's the gold? Bookcase. Sparkling insight, Sergeant. This game is not over yet. Move! Think of this as a vacation from your worries. There is absolutely nothing you can do, so... Lie back. Enjoy the benefits of the sun. Ah, uh, you see, I prefer a cooler climate. You ever been to the Lake District in uh, October? I know this blonde barmaid, though. She'd be perfect for you. Really? Yeah. She's into this sort of thing. Uh, glad to pity you would not be able to introduce us. You cleared the town. How observant of you. You're so sure my friends will come? Like moths to a candle flame. How poetic. You shall all die together. Roman. I'm meeting him in Latio Canyon in three hours. He's still out searching for Fenner. He's in town. Roman? Fenner. Monte is using him as bait. Oh, I should have known. Where are you going? Roman will try and save him. He does what he must. So do I. He can't do it alone. You expect me to let them both die? I expect you to leave. But he has won. Not yet he hasn't. Sometimes I see you go off to fight. And I say to myself, this is charmed. Her father watches over her. But still, you worry. You don't know how much I wish I could ride beside you. I know. It is your destiny. 
that mind. So I stay, and I wait, and I pray. You know, I have to go. Yes, you must help me dress. It's a pity that Captain Grisham is not here. He always enjoys this part of the hunt. The baits squirming in the trap, our guns at the ready. He needs watering. If my friends don't come, you'll be out of a lot of gold and I'll be dead. Double loss for you. <laughs> Are you really trying to negotiate from your position, Senor Fenner? No, I'm just noting it, in case you hadn't thought of all the parameters. My profession demands that I always consider all of the parameters. Oh, well. You in a better mood? I have 12 reales in my pocket. <laughs> and your wager is? <laughs> Double or nothing that me, Roman, and the bandit queen make it out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> alive? Double or nothing. What'd you say? I will be only too glad to accept your ridiculous wager. I can see at least a dozen soldiers plus Montoya. I'm done talking about plans. I'm getting Fenna. What? You can't just walk out there and untie him. Then I'll die trying. It's what Montoya's counting on, Roman. It's a trap. I know that. Fenna. He always tries to be a bigger man than he is. He won't make it. Don't ask me to leave him. How good a rider are you? So you don't want the wind's head anymore? No. I think I'll settle for Montoya's. Wise choice. Tell Senorita Alvarado thank you for the horses. You sure? This won't get you into trouble? As long as they are back by tonight, she won't even notice. Her head is filled with parties and dresses. What a nice life. Do you ever want that for yourself? Whether I do or not, it is not to be. Are you always so sure of the future, even your own? Just as there is more than one path through a forest, there are many futures. I had to ask. But all paths lead each of us to our one destiny. I'll bring the horses back tonight. We'll need them to... I don't need to know your business. But I need you to come back in one piece. I'll do my best. <laughs> you wear my colors well. Like a medieval knight? Something like that. I hope this path will be the right one. Go. Hurry. No one is to fire until my order. You will not fire when you see them coming. You will not fire when you have them in range. You will fire when you see them untying the prisoner and there is no escape. Any infraction, any infraction whatsoever, and you will be subjected to the same treatment as this pathetic specimen of humanity. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Take up your positions. Good luck. Same to you. I didn't get a chance to apologize for trying to kill you. Forget it. You ready? You really think this will work? I don't know. Never tried it before. Yes, sir. Find out what that is. It must be them. No, no. It's something entirely different. All right. Aye, sir. You men, surround the prisoner. Now, move it. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What the hell is it? Horses.
aiming. Nothing we are back, remember? But you already have nearly 800 reales of my own money. We do? Excellent. Give me what's left in your pocket. Fana! Fana, hurry up! Boy. Shoot them, you idiot! I have to go now. You better go fast. I'll be back. I don't think so. How can you be so sure? Something else awaits you, Roman. Tell me. Your future is yours to discover, not mine. But mine's always come back to the ladies. <laughs> We're never saying this. Why don't I believe that? Hmm. We could stay a bit longer, you know, and just get to know me. Come on, Fena. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 